playoff edition of AZ Audibles on Sports360AZ.com. We've got Jordan Hamm, Eric Sorensen. I'm Jared Cohen. Let's look back at round one, some of the things that stood out, starting with you, Eric. I was out in Ahwatukee. Desert Vista got a big win over Red Mountain. One of the reasons, Jared, their senior kicker, Connor Culp. This guy is a big-time weapon. Hit three field goals, including a 50-yarder. Also, all of his kickoffs were touchbacks. They've got Chandler this week. If he can keep the field balanced to DV's side, they may may have a chance to pull the upset, but it's easy to see why LSU got in on this kicker. How about you, Jordan? I was at the Brophy Pinnacle double overtime thriller, and Ryan Velez had a great performance again in Week 10. He had 350 yards, five touchdowns. Last week, he had 170 yards, three touchdowns, also threw a 98-yard touchdown pass on the halfback pass. This upcoming week, they're going to be playing Mountain Point, so Miko Blunt against Ryan Velez could be a great running attack. It seems like Ryan Velez every year, playoff time, for the last three years, you hear his name come up more and more. He just comes to play this time of year. I was over at Saguaro going up against Apollo. I showed up at this game at halftime, and Saguaro was losing. Well, sure enough, they end up going on a 30 nothing run, to use basketball terms, to close out the game and their defense was unbelievable you hear so much about the athletes they have on the offensive side of the ball and they a lot of these guys go two ways but Byron Murphy Caleb Jarrell Brant Casey with a huge cast on his hand just to name a few of these guys that were monsters if Saguaro's defense is this good a seven seed could win the state championship in division two how about this coming week Eric where are you headed one of my games is going to be Catalina Foothills and Paradise Valley the Trojans the top seed have all obviously Daniel Bridgegad, Jacob Brown. We talk a lot about their offense, but Max Seifer, sophomore linebacker, he's got 91 tackles, averages over eight a game. It's going to be key. He's going to be important in helping shut down Rhett Rodriguez because that could be a high scoring game up in the North Valley. George? I'm seeing a rematch of Hamilton and Centennial. This was a great game in the regular season, 34-27. The Huskies were able to take that one. What Centennial will need to do if they want to avenge that loss is limit the big plays. They gave up a big touchdown to Caleb Pitts, a big screen play to Jawar Jordan, so they're going to have to limit that and really grind it out if they want to take over against Hamilton. And you know the trenches. Got to love the trenches with those two teams this time of year. It'll be fun to see who prevails in the end. Uh, I'm going to be uh, two games this weekend. The first First one, Desert Ridge going up against Chaparral. Defense on both sides of the ball. It's going to be awesome. But DJ Davidson is probably the guy in this state that just is not talked about enough field. He is a monster. And he is going to be crucial going up against Spencer Greenberg and Kurt Schugert, the run game of Chaparral. And then I'm going to head over to Mesa against Skyline. Skyline, the number one seed. Mesa played them tough on the last week of the regular season, just falling short by seven points. The rematch, it's tough to beat teams to, uh, twice in a row. You mentioned that last week, Eric. So this could be a very good game in Division Two. That's it for this week's edition of AZ Audibles. That's Jordan. That's Eric. I'm Jared on Sports360AZ.com.